Happy Thanksgiving. Now imagine this, a picture-perfect pre-pandemic holiday dinner for you and your family. Between beautifully prepared turkey, mashed potatoes, and stuffing, you and your family can bond over shared love and connection. Until there's a tone shift. Between your MAGA grandpa, your hybrid driving aunt, your JROTC nephew, and your emo cousin, some people would say that there is bound to be a little bit of strife between these different ideological parties. However, it turns out that the strict labels of Democrat versus Republican, and therefore the two, system, the two party political system as a whole, is ineffective for America. Today, you'll be able to continue your family dinner and watch a show while we go over why the two party why the two-party political system is hurting today's family dynamics and political sphere. On today's menu, we'll first have our appetizer while going over the inherent generalizations of the two-party system. Then we'll have our entree and go over how the two-party system affects independent candidates. And lastly, we'll have a light dessert while seeing how the two-party system causes political polarization. Now, hand me a spoon for our first point. Tearing into our first dishes, the two-party political system simply cannot represent the full spectrum of political ideologies in the United States. Many people don't fit into either the binary of a Democrat or Republican, or they produce their opinions on a subject-by-subject -subject case. In fact, according to the Pew Research Center, 4 in 10, or 39% of Americans, say the statement, I wish there were more political parties to choose from in this country. This leads to feelings of disenfranchisement among voters, which is harmful to our quality of life. However, this also creates a parallel effect known as default voting. This is known as a dangerous voter habit of simply voting for the person who falls into my political party, or in other words, voting for a label rather than a person. For example, a lifelong conservative who happens to value environmental policy could default vote for a traditional Republican representative who happens to be the heir of an oil baron. This goes against his values, and it goes against the kind of change he would like to see in this country. However, he is misguided by a label that suits him. This can also be done in the interest of adhering to social norms of a certain area, family, race, or socioeconomic class. In conclusion, the two-party political system is ineffective and antiquated. Now, next, we will Go to our entrees and see how the two-party political system affects the little guy. Do Now, vote for your main dish. Due to the dominance of the two-party system, independent candidates struggle to get the same amount of votes, funding, and support. The big, the big parties, i.e. Republican and Democrat, have a lot of money and funding to fall back on, which can make it very difficult for independent parties to compete. In fact, according to the Stillman Exchange, this, the official bubble business publication of Seton Hall University, this is a dangerous phenomenon because, quote, while people such as Donald Trump and Joe Biden possess the backing of major funds, um, independent people running away from a large party may struggle to capture enough funds in order to compete with the multi-million dollar Democratic or Republican campaigns. As a result, a very qualified independent politician may be overseen, which can limit the success of our political system." End quote. An example that you might remember could be Joe, or Bernie Sanders, that's his name, from the 2020 presidential elections. In conclusion, the two-party system um, is harmful to our democracy as it limits the amount of ideas thoughts and feelings represent in our government. Next, we'll be able to go to get our dessert and see how the two-party political system causes political polarization at the dinner table. Last, but definitely not least, pick up a dessert that you support. The two-party political system creates clarity for what each party values. However, it also creates more animosity between the parties. It gives each side a clear and designated opposite even if they share similar values. For example, a lifelong Republican refusing to speak to a Democrat about the current presidency in America because he believes that the 2020 elections was fraudulent. And he believes that his counterpart is a supporter of Democratic President Joe Biden. However, little does he know, the Democrat also has strife with the current political leadership in America, however, possibly stemming from different reasons. 
This shows how the two-party political system can make people more combative and less patient with other political beliefs. However, the strict labels of this can also cause polarization. You might have heard this term multiple times throughout this speech. Polarization is defined as the movement of political beliefs away from the center towards ideological extremes, meaning the Democrats are becoming more liberal and the Republicans are becoming more conservative. And as this has developed, it has created a toxic political climate where parties are more interested in opposing each other rather than coming together and solving um, shared goals. Um, aggression between both parties is a growing mindset as, be as it has become more normalized. In fact, according to facinghistory.org, four per in 1960, 4% of Republicans and 4% of Democrats said that they would be upset if their child married someone of the opposite party. However, in 2019, 45% uh, of Democrats said they would be upset if their child married a Republican, and 35% of Republicans said they would be upset if their child married a Democrat. In conclusion, the two-party system increases political polarization in America. Now for an after-dinner mint. Now, obviously, the two-party system has many flaws that are hurting our democracy. Today, you saw how it generalizes political beliefs in America, how it picks on the little guy, and lastly, how it causes more political aggression and polarization between the parties. We have to come together in order to explore more creative solutions to find a better political system that is more representative, fair, and effective. With this new information, I hope you are better able to see eye to eye with your family members this next voting season. Make sure to stay unbiased and extra hungry. Thank you.